Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. Okay, so in this video, I'm trying to get everything in the screen at the same time. Uh, this is the X-Tool D8 kit, and uh, we're in a Land Rover. It's a Land Rover Discovery uh, 2007 model, which as you can see, we've got a few warning lights on the dashboard, a few problems going on here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna eliminate one of those warning lights. It's the seat belt. Um, and then we can we get a better idea of what we're actually dealing with so we're going to just do a short demonstration of this X tool on this Land Rover Discovery 3 uh, showing you diagnosing and resetting various warning systems warning lights and fault codes in the vehicle um, it's a uh, it's a fantastic tool actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video um, there are fakes, there are clones out there, so if you want to make sure you're getting the genuine product, make sure you use the link in the description below this video. But this is a solid unit, it's the real deal. Um, any sort of garage, workshop, uh, mobile mechanic or anyone who sort of wants to keep an eye on their own fleet of vehicles or an enthusiast, something like that, um, I'd highly recommend this tool. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Uh, but first of all, what we'll do is we'll go into the diagnosis option. It's uh, it's a touch screen system so we can go to Europe and when you see a little red arrow it means there are updates available okay so um, you can do that in your own time but for now I'm just going to show you the process of diagnosing and resetting the warning lights so we're going to manually select our vehicle it's a discovery it's a 2007 so this one here it's a diesel v6 and now it's establishing communication between the tool and the vehicle. It is plugged into the diagnostic port um, down there. So we'll click on to system selection and now it's giving us a list of all the systems that can potentially diagnose and reset in this vehicle. So we're going to start with the check engine light which is right there which is obviously relates to the engine system and we're going to click into powertrain control module and we'll click into read trouble code. Um, is, that, is that what I... is that right? No. I'd, I'd selected the instrument cluster. We have been having a lot of problems with that actually. That that explains all of the communication failures. That's what I meant to click. Um, speed control, not fitted. Right, read trouble code. So these are the fault codes that we were getting, which indicated that we need to change the mass airflow sensor, or MAF as it's also known. So we put a new MAF in, or a new the new sensor in, um, but the check engine light is still there. That's because we need to erase these codes and tell the ECU that we have fixed a new part. Uh, can you please run a, f a quick um, scan of the system to check that everything is fine? If it agrees that everything is fine, it will turn the check engine light off. So we go back, we go to clear trouble code. Let's click yes to that. Keep an eye on the check engine light when I click yes here. There we go. Engine light is gone. That's because the ECU is happy that the the, uh, the system has been fixed and the fault was fixed correctly and it's the same process for the other systems really so we'll look at the airbag now that is under the restraints control module read trouble code we had to unplug a connection underneath the passenger seat which is now plugged back in but obviously when you plug it back in you've got the airbag light and simply just plugging it back in won't turn off the airbag light you do need a tool to reset that warning light so um, these all relate to the uh, the left side passengers airbag it's a right hand drive vehicle so it's the same process though because when I click on clear trouble code when I click yes here keep an eye on the airbag light there we go that is gone and then that leaves us with the three amigos the abs the brake and the traction control warning so that falls under it's like vehicle dynamics or something like that let me check um it's probably staring at me right in the face ah there it is vehicle dynamics control module right at the bottom there so we'll go to read trouble code, got fault with the control module or rear, uh, sorry, front right wheel speed sensor. So we've put a new ABS sensor in the front right of this vehicle because we were getting that fault in the warning lights. This will probably work a bit different if experience uh, follows suit because you clear the trouble codes. But the warning lights will probably stay on. Now this generally happens on most makes and models, not all. Uh, but sometimes you can either just start driving away and they will go off automatically or a simple reset like turning the engine off and then on again 
will allow them to turn off completely and there we go that's what's happened so that is a success we've managed to get rid of all of those warning lights the warning light that is always on and nobody's ever happy about is that one there the fuel light well that's another story entirely so um, yeah so th those are the um, well actually I'll go back in here and I'll show you just a massive list of makes and models that it will cover the other European ones actually um, Asia again a huge list America China and Australia when it comes to special functions there are special functions or service functions and these are the list of special functions now what I'll say about this is um, you know you might have things like key programming and gearbox matching or injector coding it, although those options are there it doesn't necessarily mean it works on all makes and models so um, my advice is to contact um, X tool and they will give them the VIN number and they will tell you whether a certain uh, like function like this works on your specific vehicle. Generally you'll find that, you know, let's say for example you want to do, you do a lot of DPF regeneration, so you want a tool that covers a lot of vehicles. You'll probably find that this will cover, this tool would cover, I don't know, 85 to 90% of vehicles out there. But there is always a small percentage that the tool just can't uh, work with or the, the, the software developers haven't been able to work out the software for that particular model. But 85, 90% of the time you should be okay with most of these functions. Okay. So that's it. That is the D7, sorry, the D8 in a nutshell. A uh, very quick demonstration, but I hope you get the idea of sort of how it works and sort of. It, honestly, I've probably touched on 5% of what I can do there. I can do so many more reports. It's bi directional. Um, it'll print off reports for you. It can do lots of live data, DPF data. Um, there's so much information that these tools can give and offer. Uh, but what, like I say, I'll pop the link in the description below this video. Uh, that's where you'll get the genuine and official product. Fakes and clones do exist. Please, please, please don't go down that route. Um, you're just simply asking for trouble. I've seen it firsthand. Just use the genuine tools. Pay £100 more for the genuine and official tool and you won't get into trouble with your vehicle. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope it helps.